Here's what you need to know to get started with the Canon PowerShot G9X Mark II. The first additional item you'll need is a memory card. Look for cards with the UHS-1 designation for high read and write speeds, which help if you want to shoot HD video. The next thing we recommend adding to your kit is a spare battery. Canon makes two cases for the G9X Mark II, and both will protect the camera when it's not being used. If you're a fan of social photography, Canon's optional HF DC2 external flash provides more power. The G9X Mark II offers eight JPEG picture style presets to fine tune the look of your images. Auto mode will get you great shots without worrying about settings. The G9X Mark II also offers a variety of scene modes for creative effects. But shooting RAW will let you get the most out of the G9X Mark II's sensor. Its touchscreen makes it easy to set focus and navigate settings. When reviewing images, you can swipe between shots and zoom in by double tapping. You can also use the touch interface to customize the front control ring. This ring can be used to adjust exposure settings, picture styles, or to zoom the lens. Send images from the G9X2 to your phone or tablet using built-in Wi-Fi. For more in-depth information about the Canon PowerShot G9X Mark II, including a deep dive into all of its key features, head to dpreview.com. The Panasonic Lumix DC ZS200 is a pocketable travel camera with a 1-inch sensor, which is built around a long-ranging 15x 24-360mm equivalent lens. While the long zoom is a major selling point, the ZS200 has plenty of other tricks up its sleeve too. Its sensor is large for a camera in this class, which means better image quality than your average compact. 5-axis stabilization helps keep pictures sharp, even at the long end of the zoom. The ZS200 features a variation of Panasonic's depth from defocus autofocus technology, which ensures impressively fast focus acquisition in most situations. While far from being an action camera, the ZS200's maximum frame rate of 10 frames per second makes it useful for capturing quick, candid moments. As well as 20 megapixel stills, the ZS200 can also capture 4K and HD video, and Panasonic's 4K photo feature makes it possible to shoot 8 megapixel still frames at a rate of up to 30 per second. Built-in Wi-Fi and low-energy Bluetooth make it easy to get images off the camera and onto your phone. For more information about the Panasonic Lumix DC ZS200, visit dpreview.com. The Canon PowerShot G7X Mark II offers improvements over its predecessor, making it more comfortable for shooting while maintaining its compact size and capable performance. The G7X2 is built around a 1-inch type CMOS sensor, giving it better image quality than a small sensor compact camera or a smartphone. The built-in lens is a fast f1.8 to 2.8, 24-100mm to zoom, providing a lot of reach and decent low-light capabilities in a small package. The tilting touchscreen LCD makes it easy to set up and take your shots from any angle, making it ideal for selfies or street photography. The image quality, especially color rendition, is excellent on the G7X2. Its fast burst shooting enables you to capture the action. The grip is comfortable in the hand, and the control ring around the lens can be set to smooth or clicky, making it useful for both photo and video shooting. Our criticisms of the G7X2 are a relatively disappointing battery life and slightly mushy fine details in JPEGs. Overall, the Canon G7X2 is a well-designed enthusiast compact camera that can capture good quality photos and videos. This pocketable camera is a significant improvement over its predecessor and sits near the top of its class. For more information about the Canon G7X2 and all things photographic, head to dpreview.com.